her teenage son was having trouble mastering the fine points of balancing his new checking account. The bank returned the check you wrote to the sporting goods store, she said. Oh, good, he said. Now I can use it to buy some stereo equipment. <laughs> A youngster devoted an entire rainy indoors afternoon to a drawing he was doing with very colored crayons. His mother finally looked over his shoulder and, puzzled, asked, Who's that you're drawing, son? The son answered, God. Don't be silly, reproved the mother. Nobody knows what God looks like. Not even posing in his task, the son announced calmly, They will when I'm finished. <laughs> 3. After being away on business for a week before Christmas, Tom thought it would be nice to bring his wife a little gift. How about some perfume? He asked the cosmetics clerk. She showed him a bottle costing Fifty dollars. That's a bit much, said Tom. So she returned with a smaller bottle for thirty dollars. That's still quite a bit. Tom groused. Growing disgusted, the clerk bought out a tiny fifteen dollars bottle. Tom grew agitated. What I mean, he said, is I'd like to see something real cheap. So the clerk handed him a mirror. <laughs> Johnny missed his final exam due to the flu. But he'd done so well during the year that the teacher suggested to the principal they give him an oral exam to make up for the test he'd missed. The principal agrees, so they call Johnny into the office and explain about the oral test. First, the teacher asks, Johnny, what does a cow have four of that I only have two of? Johnny replies, legs. So the teacher asks, Johnny, what do you have in your pants that I don't have in my pants? Pockets. Johnny replies. Finally, the teacher asks, and Johnny, what is the capital of Italy? Rome is his answer. With that, the teacher turns to the principal and asks, Well, shall we pass him? Better not ask me, the principal says. I got the first two wrong. <laughs> One evening, in a busy lounge in the deep south, a reindeer walked in the door, bellied up to the bar and ordered a martini. Without batting an eye, the bartender mixed and poured the drink, set it in front of the reindeer and accepted the $20 bill from the reindeer's hoof. As he handed the reindeer some coins in change, he said, You know, I think you're the first reindeer I've ever seen in here. The reindeer looked hard at the hoof full of change and said, Hmm, let me tell you something, buddy. At these prices, I'm the last reindeer you'll see in here. <laughs> what is the difference between bougie and spinach? You can't get your kids to eat spinach. <laughs> Every Christmas morning, when my kids were little, I read them the nativity story out of the big family Bible. When my son was old enough to talk, he asked me what a stable was. I thought for a moment how to explain it to him in terms he could understand, then told him, it's something like your sister's room, but without a stereo. <laughs> Jones. The Chinese make it an invariable rule to settle all their debts on New Year's Day. Smith. So I understand. But then again, the Chinese don't have a Christmas the week before. <laughs> Jack was in front of me coming out of church one day 
and the preacher was standing at the door as he always is to shake hands. The preacher grabbed Jack by the hand and pulled him aside. The pastor said to him, You need to join the army of the Lord. Jack replied, I am already in the army of the Lord, pastor. Pastor questioned, How come I don't see you except at Christmas and Easter? He whispered back, I'm in the secret service. <laughs> A young woman was taking an afternoon nap. After she woke up, she told her husband, I just dreamed that you gave me a pearl necklace for Valentine's Day. What do you think it means? You'll know tonight, he said. That evening, the man came home with a small package and gave it to his wife. Delighted, she opened it, only to find a book entitled the meaning of dreams. <laughs> <laughs>